Dockside TV. We're going to start off fishing the train trestle, catch a big doormat flounder. We're going to catch some sheephead, and we're also going to catch some really nice trout. It's World Series time. Everybody's looking for those World Series trout to show up. We're only catching a handful right now, but it usually as the temperatures drop, the big droves of them come in. After that, we're going to fish up in the marshes off the north end of Lake Pontchartrain and all of the bayous. And uh, there's a lot of school trout back there right now. And uh, we're even going to sight fish a few redfish in some of the flooded marsh created over from the hurricanes the last several years, providing a nice grass uh, bottom and some crystal clear water. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and stay tuned. The big Lake Poncha train doormat here. This is one of the things the lake's known for in the fall, right here on the trestle. And uh, what we're, you, you can use live shrimp, you can use just simply dead shrimp. I like to use number one favorite thing avocado lures, avocado color. You can use the avocado matrix shed or the green hornet. Got a 3 8 ounce or a half ounce golden eye jig head. This is the black platinum 3 8 we're using. What I like to do, if I'm really targeting just flounder only, I like to tip it with a little piece of dead shrimp. Or you can even cut off a piece of the fish, you know, white trout, flounder, any kind of piece of meat. Put it on there. The flounder really like a little bit of smell and it helps them hold on to it a little bit more. And when you set the hook on a flounder, you want to really drive the hook through it. They got very very tough mouths and if you miss one simply let the bait go right back down to the bottom they are notorious for hitting it again so got some big big leg pea flat fish going on right now trout fishing's been kind of tough on the bridge but get you some matrix chance tip it with a little piece of shrimp or something and come get on some of these flounder eggs. when fishing what I'd really suggest right now it's fishing with the live shrimp because that's what the sheephead love eating the live shrimp. The drum eat the live shrimp, the redfish right here. You get it, it's got a good mix bag going on right now, so the live shrimp's really gonna help you. If you're fishing for the flounders only, like I said before, just use the, the tip of the, you know, just use the matrix shed and you can just tip the uh, tip the bait with a little piece of uh, dead shrimp. But uh mix bags going on out here. Trout could show up here in the next week or two, but they're pretty scarce right now on the bridge. The few we're catching are really big though, so it makes it exciting when you do hit one. But a lot of life out here right now, it's a good place to fish. The big flounders are making it worthwhile. Yeah, like I said before, they got a little bit of everything out here. Nice little puppy drum. And the cameraman here, let's check him out. 16 inches. They got to be 16. Another great eating fish. And the cameraman just landed what everybody's looking for out here. The old trusty mule trout. Got it on the green hornet. I'm throwing avocado. He's throwing the hornet. That's a solid fish. That's what we're looking for. That and them big flounders. You can't beat it. Some of the biggest flounder trout fishing around right here. This is a solid let's see 21 inch trout. Only on the trestle. Let me show you, when you're flounder fishing, we like to, you always want to fish the flounders on the west side of the trestle, no matter if the tide's falling or coming in. The flounders always seem to gang on the west side, and they're generally from the north end of the trestle all the way by land to about mid-lake, the 175, 176 area. That's where they've always been the last 15 years of messing with them. But, uh, on an incoming tide, it can be, that's what we have right now, it can be a lot harder to actually target 
where you want to make the cast. The flounder usually tend to be off the bridge more and they can be real spread out. We've caught them as up to 40 yards off the bridge, 50 yards off the bridge. But you just want to get you about a full cast distance off. And on that, on the income of Todd, you got to throw a lot of different casts. Some right at the bridge, some way off. You never know where they're really going to be. But on a fallen Todd, we still get on the west side, but the flounder really tend to get right in front of the bridge pile. So where you just throw kind of down the bridge, let the Todd pull you back to it, and just sweep it right in front of them poles. It makes it a lot easier to know where the casts are going to be. Right, now what we've done, we left the trestle, got a few really nice fish over there. Now we just came back here by car drive, put on a little lemon head. We fishing all the little ditches, marshes, and ponds off a of car. Found a real nice crystal clear pond here. We don't really sight fish back here too much, giving it a shot right now. Catching a few nice reds. Oh, this one's about 22 inches, beautiful fish. We saw him coming over this flat right here, pitched on him, gobbled it up. Another one for the box. All right, here we go. Ready? That's the best part about fishing back here. And all of the marshes, you catch everything. Little bass, trout, redfish. Everything lives back here. What we're doing now is the interjunct and bayous that connect the ponds where we were catching the reds. The deeper bodies we find back here in the marsh off the north end of the lake. If it's got five or six foot of water, there's plenty of fish in it. I just pop in a cork with that shrimp creole there and uh, just fish. It's November. Right. Whenever you fish in the marshes, For these school trout, like these two we just caught back to back right here. That popping cork, it's a deadly, deadly combination. I really favor that shrimp creole or that popping cork. We like to use a 1 8 ounce jig head. The 8 ounce golden eye works good. Put it about 20 to 24 inches under that cork. Whenever you, what happens is the, the noise of that cork. When you pop it, it sounds like a shrimp jumping out the water. It drives the trout crazy this time of year. There's a lot of shrimp back here in all the marshes. Shrimp are all over the lake. They've been killing them in the cast net and eating owls. Imitating the shrimp's crucial. A lot of, a lot of school trout back here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV. Staying close to the house, staying close to Dockside. A lot of good fishing right here out of Dockside real close. During this time of the year, November is one of the best months for Lake Pontchartrain on the eastern end of the lake. And uh, that's where we are right now. So make sure to come see us out here at Dockside. We have plenty of live shrimp. Pick you up some matrix shares and don't miss out on any of this good fishing action. For all our other episodes, check us out at www.docksidela.com and matrixshare.com. Until next time, good fishing.